what is difference between Oracle Fusion middleware and Oracle Fusion applications? This is one of the first and most common question we get in our Oracle Fusion middleware administration training. So I decided to engage our Fusion middleware expert and trainer Kishore to answer this question. But before we jump onto this question, let me introduce myself. My name is Atul Kumar. I'm an Oracle Ace, blogger, and author of two books on Oracle identity and access management. So I asked this question from our Oracle Fusion middleware expert and trainer Kishore that what is difference between Oracle Fusion middleware and Fusion applications? And this is what he has to say. What is a Fusion middleware? And then what is Fusion applications? How do they differ with each other? And then how do they correlate with each other? What is a Fusion middleware? As a name suggests, a middleware is a component which lies between other components like applications, database, or infrastructure. In other words, it facilitates the infrastructure to create the business applications. The Fusion middleware includes multiple components to serve the requirements of individuals or an organization. Oracle J Developer is a developed tool by Oracle Fusion middleware that can be used for developing the business applications for the organization. For any user interactions, we have web center portal that can be used to build portals for both internet and then intranet. It enables uh, building and then consuming standard based portals and then also you can build pages that are consistent. We can also pers personalize the portal pages if required. Oracle Business Intelligence OBIE delivers the robust set of reports, ad hoc requests, queries, analysis, OLAP, dashboard, functionality with a rich end-user experience. It makes corporate data easier for business users. Oracle Content Management Web Center content provides a unified repository enabling organizations to uh, deliver unstructured content in a proper format and within the context of the application that fits the way they work. It includes document management, capture and imaging, content publishing, and more. Oracle service-oriented architecture enables system developers to set up and manage services into composite applications and business processes. With SOVA, organizations can easily extend their current architecture instead of replacing existing investments. Fusion middleware comes with an inbuilt application server that can host applications and then expose the business logic and process to the end user. Oracle Access Manager provides the capability to authenticate the user to check whether the credentials provided by the user are valid and also authorize the user against the application they're trying to access based on the privileges. Oracle ID management, also known as user management, can provide creating, updating, and deleting of user information. It can also be used for assigning roles to a specific user. In other words, it can administer the user information. Oracle Enterprise Management, OEM Cloud Control, facilitates the ability to administer all the components of Fusion Middleware through a single web-based console for any performance analysis or to view log files for debugging the application related issues. Fusion Middleware can communicate with your web tier, which includes your web cache, HTTP server. It can also communicate with your Oracle Web, web Logic server, which could be your SOA, Web Center, or any other Fusion Middleware component. It also communicates with your date, database tier or data tier, which includes your Oracle Internet Directory, Oracle Virtual Directory, and then Oracle Database. This is a high-level architecture of Fusion Middleware. On the left, we have web tier through which users can connect to the applications. In the middle, we have middle tier that hosts the business applications. 
like Sova Suit, Web Center Portal, ID Management, or any other application. We have data tier that holds the user data in either LDAP or database. On the top, we have tools that can be used for administering Fusion Middleware. It could be your WLST, which is a command line tool. It could be your WebLogic console or Oracle Enterprise Manager. On the bottom, we have Oracle Platform Security Service. All these layers are protected through firewalls. Now, what is Fusion Application? A Fusion Application is the next generation application suite from Oracle, which is designed and developed on Fusion Middleware. It provides the best functionality from existing Oracle applications. Any Fusion application that we are referring to, it could be your CRM, it could be your HCM, SCM, are developed on top of your Fusion Middleware. Oracle took the best of all these Oracle products, which could be your PeopleSoft, eBusiness Suite, Sybil, and then they developed a separate application based on Fusion Middleware called Fusion Applications. All the Fusion Applications are grouped based on the product families or functional areas. As an example, the Oracle Fusion CRM can manage your customers, contacts, and then resources, whereas your financials are grouped to provide functional flows like including assets, ledger, and then cash cycle. Oracle HCM provides the employee management for an organization. So each product are grouped together based on the functionality or the functional area and then all these fusion applications are developed on top of your fusion middleware so just to add to kishore's point oracle fusion middleware is a suite of products that includes oracle weblogic server oracle soa suite web center content web center portal identity and access management suite oracle web tier and other components that sit between the Oracle database and you deploy and build business applications using Oracle Fusion middleware. Whereas Oracle Fusion applications is a suite of app business applications that are built on top of Oracle Fusion middleware. So the topic we covered just now is from our Oracle Fusion middleware administration training. I'll quickly run through on what topics we cover in our Oracle Fusion Middleware training. We cover overview and architecture of Oracle Fusion Middleware, then key concepts behind Java and system components, various homes in Oracle Fusion Middleware, repository creation utility, administration and management tools for Oracle Fusion Middleware, high availability and disaster recovery for Oracle Fusion Middleware. We also cover Oracle WebLogic Server, which is key component for Oracle Fusion Middleware, then Domain, Administration and Managed Servers in WebLogic Server. We cover WebLogic Console, Node Manager, Data Sources, and Installation and Configuration of Oracle WebLogic Server. We cover Start and Stop of WebLogic Server as part of Hands-On. We also cover File System and Log File in Oracle WebLogic Server. Then we cover Oracle HTTP Server which is a component of Oracle Web Tier, the deployment of Oracle HTTP server, file system, the log files and important configuration file in Oracle HTTP server, high availability of Oracle HTTP server, installation and configuration of Oracle HTTP server, including integration with Oracle WebLogic server, which is very important in Oracle Enterprise deployment or Oracle Enterprise reference architecture. The next topic that we cover is Oracle SOA Suite in that we cover architecture and various components of Oracle SOA Suite. Then we cover installation of Oracle SOA Suite. We cover start and stop of Oracle SOA Suite, important files and file system of Oracle SOA Suite. We cover deployment of SOA Suite in high availability in active active cluster and then deployment of SOA composite that you receive from your development team. We also cover the performance, common performance 
issues in Oracle SOA suite and how you troubleshoot that. We also cover the common Fusion middleware tasks like SSL configuration, key, key store wallet and certificates, configuring SSL in Oracle Fusion middleware, and other important security related configurations on Oracle Fusion middleware. We also integrate Oracle WebLogic server with OID as a part of hands on. Then we cover patching in Fusion middleware. We discuss various patching tools uh, depending on Fusion middleware component like BEA, Smart Update, OPatch, PSA. We apply as part of hands on patches in WebLogic server and Oracle home for Fusion middleware component like SOA suite. We also cover cloning and backup and recovery of Oracle Fusion middleware component. Then next after SOA suite, we cover OBI EE overview and architecture, management tools used in OBI EE, OBI installation, start and stop of OBI EE, high availability of OBI EE and deployment of RPD, which is a repository um, in Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. Then we cover another Fusion Middleware component, which is Web Center content, overview of Web Center content, architecture of Web, Web Center content. We cover installation of Web Center content, start and stop of Web Center, high availability of Web Center suite. Then we cover overview of identity and access management, where we cover what are various components that make identity and access management suite. So the next question is, why should you take Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training from K21 Technologies? We provide dedicated machine for each training to practice installation, configuration, startup shutdown, integrations, deployment of application with lots of hands-on exercises to practice on our servers. The servers are available 24 by 7 during the training for practice and it's very important that you should do hands-on. The next is you get access to the recordings that you can replay again and again over entire lifetime. We also give opportunity for you to retake these live virtual sessions anytime in next one year. We provide support for one year through our forums or email. We are so confident about our trainings that we provide 100% money back guarantee. So if you are not happy after attending first two sessions, then inform us before the third session and we'll do the full refund. And finally, all our trainers are Oracle certified. This is what our customers say about us. This is the most effective and best priced training with real time deployment scenarios. Here's another one where we provided a corporate training for one of Oracle implementers where we train DBAs and apps DBAs for Oracle Fusion middleware. So finally, if you would like to register for training, then click on button register for course on your video. Or if you have any queries, then leave a message here or drop us an email on training at k21technologies.com. So I repeat, if you're interested to register for this course, click on the button on the video register for course, or you can contact us on the email address training at k21technologies.com. Thank you.